Some people are as passionate about oils as they are about professional sports or even politics. But what's the real difference between mineral oil and synthetic oil? And more importantly, does it make a difference for your bike? In this video from the MC Garage, we'll discuss the differences so you can be better informed the next time some form know-it-all starts spitting nonsense. When you see a bottle labeled mineral or synthetic, that refers to the base stock that makes up about 75 to 80% of each liter of oil. The other 20 to 25% are additives like anti-foaming agents, anti-wear agents, and viscosity modifiers. And these have a big impact on the oil's performance. Nearly all additives are synthesized, but that's not considered when categorizing an oil. It's the base stock that makes a difference, and whether or not that base stock was pumped out of the ground and refined, or synthesized in a lab. Mineral oil has been around for decades, and it can offer great lubrication performance. But by far the biggest appeal of mineral oil is the price. Because it takes less work to become a finished product, it's actually pretty affordable stuff. The drawbacks of mineral oil stem from the fact that it's refined from crude oil. Because of that, mineral oil contains a variety of molecules, as well as some leftover impurities like sulfur. Basically, that means mineral oil is less chemically stable than synthetic oil so it's more easily oxidized and acidified and can break down more quickly under extreme use. And by extreme use, I mean high heat, high engine revs, and high load. Think of a motocross bike being ridden at full tilt on a scorching summer day. Just as the cons of mineral oil revolve around its impurities, the benefits of synthetic oil revolve around its purity. Synthetic oil consists of uniform molecules that are specifically tailored to serve as a performance lubricant. That means synthetic oil does a better job of resisting wear and it's also more resistant to breakdown under extreme use. There's really just one downside, cost. Synthetics are difficult to produce, and the price reflects that. We're talking $15 a liter for the synthetic oil versus about $6 a liter for mineral oil. Torn between the two? Semi-synthetic oil is a mixture of synthetic and mineral oils. It offers some of the benefits of synthetic oil, but without all the cost. If you're looking for the best semi-synthetic or synthetic oil you can get your hands on, look for the stuff with ester on the label. It's a badass family of molecules that are widely recognized as the best lubricants on the market. And because esters are really expensive to make, manufacturers are always eager to put ester on the bottle. When it comes down to it, picking an oil can be a tough choice. I run mineral oil in my street bikes and I run synthetic oil in my race bikes. But ultimately, changing your oil on time is more important than what oil you use. And if you need a refresher on how to change your oil and filter, We've got you covered. So that's it for this episode of MC Garage. I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time.